And I think we are there. That was fast. We usually don't get live streams so quickly. Usually it takes a while. <laughs> so um, good morning slash afternoon. Um, everybody, welcome so much to the International Women in Business Mastermind. I am your host, V. Hill Vigil, Women's Empowerment Business and Professional Development Coach. Um, I am uh, so honored and so pleased to be able to again join you, uh, have you join us with such an awesome program today. We have Erin Sum who's going to be joining us. And I'm so, I have to share, Erin is coming live to uh, us from my hometown of Woodland, California. Shout out NorCal. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Uh, it has been a long time since I've been back in, and uh, lots of friends and family are still living there. So hello to all of you awesomes. Um, during the course of our International Women in, Women in Business Mastermind program, if you have joined us before, you will know that you can comment on the live stream here, and I will make sure that we are able to um, respond to your questions, respond to your inquiries. If you want to comment and cheer us on, um, we would love that as well. If you would like to connect with either Aaron or myself, please feel free to go ahead and post your comments. And then if you watch this video after the fact, please feel free to also give us a hashtag replay and that you are joining us and you might have questions or comments or, or encouraging words to share um, with us and our audience. So welcome back to another awesome program. The goal of the International Women in Business Mastermind is to bring phenomenal women from around the globe straight into your home, on your phone, in your car, wherever you may be, um, so that we can can just learn about one another. Um, all of us work so oftentimes exclusively in our little silos, besides communicating on social, that this gives us just another opportunity to reach out and get to know one another. So I like to share the IWB Mastermind in several of our private groups, um, the uh, Empowered Women by the Empowerment Empire and Jefas Unidas Latina Entrepreneurs um, Facebook group that we also have here. Um, follow us, of course, on our YouTube channel. All of the uh, videos are uploaded there um, for you to watch all of the IWB Masterminds that we've been uploading there. I believe this is our fifth year of hosting monthly conversations. And it's just a really fun way to continue to feature women that I get to come into contact with or that I may know on some other capacity who's got an amazing business or some amazing insights that they're willing to share. Um, so let's get to it. So our special guest today um, is Erin Sum, and she is going to be talking to us about unleashing your power to become unstoppable. Um, I've always loved Erin's energy. There's always been just a, so much positivity. Every time I see your videos or your posts, she's dancing around doing some fun stuff and it's just always really um it makes you smile every time every time i see your videos so erin is an international confidence transformation coach who supports women entrepreneurs and professionals to overcome their fears of being seen criticized unworthy and not enough change limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs to be confident bold and stand in their power so they can actually create their vision for their life business and relationships. I'm so very excited to have Erin with us. How are you? Welcome to the program today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell us um, a little bit about so where you're at in your business. I know just from following you is that you've had like different transitions. You've got a couple of different things happening. You're doing more speaking engagements. Um, so before we dive into our current our topic for today tell us a little bit more about you and like where you're going with your business yeah so like you said I'm a confidence transformation coach for women um but I it hasn't always been this way right I used to be very very shy um and even as a kid though I always saw myself as helping others I wanted to make a difference help others um in the world and things like that and so all throughout my life I've done different things that have been you know, to help others, to empower others, um, to grow my own confidence. And for the last 15 years or so, I've been doing um, very concentrated, like, how do I build my own confidence kind of work. Um, in 2008, I joined passion parties. That was my very first, like, really right big on. I remember outside. passion parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leap outside my comfort zone. I did that five years. I built a team. I was executive director um, all these different things in order to build my confidence. Cause I knew there was more 
for me. And I had to grow myself in order to um, create that life that I really wanted to live, which was helping other, other people in a bigger way. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I started coaching in 2012 and um, been building that ever since working on my own confidence, helping other women see their worth and their value and helping them believe in themselves and reach their own goals and vision and all that good stuff. Um, so helping empower them. How long have you been doing your, um, your women's empowerment work? Since 2012. 2012. And where do you see yourself going in the next couple of years? What's your plan? What should we be looking out for from you? Yeah. Well, I, I, I did my first retreat in 2019, right at the end of the year, right before COVID hit. <laughs> I was hoping to do like at least two retreats in 2020 and um, everything kind of fell apart, of course, because the world ended for a while. <laughs> um, but so doing more retreats, I would love to do international retreats, um, you know, destination retreats in beautiful locations around the world um, eventually. So that would be really amazing. That is something that has always been on my list of let's do a Bali retreat. Let's go yes. to Hawaii again. Let's go back yeah. to, you know, Australia. Let's do, yeah. you know, Sayulita down in Mexico. Let's do like some amazing. And so I'm, I'm with you on that one, especially as the summer is coming upon us. And now we're like, oh, we're going to go now that it's all nice and warm. And I, I feel you. So yeah. tell us, let's dive into your program for today. Um, what is it about this particular presentation that is, I think, gonna, that is so beneficial to us? Yeah. So a lot of us, especially as women, we have a lot of limiting beliefs and fears and things that hold us back, right? Beliefs about ourselves, beliefs, beliefs about our worth. Um, and so unleashing your power to be unstoppable, that's like identifying where you're holding yourself back. Where's those limiting beliefs and fears? What are they exactly? Um, and what, where are you self-sabotaging yourself, you know, um, and not being able to get to those, reach the goals, get to the vision, um, all the things that we're really wanting to go towards, you know, I've certainly spent many years sabotaging and, and believing that I wasn't worthy. And that's part of my own journey, right? We always, we, we, we help others with the things that we need our own support with, right? Um, our own mess message um, is part of our mess, right? <laughs> um, and so I have um, worked on that a lot. And so that's what I help other women with. And that's what we're going to talk about today is how to become unstoppable. Um, so, you know, I talked about um, my journey of being shy and pushing past through those things, getting outside my comfort zone. Uh, when I first started this business, I was absolutely terrified of public speaking. I literally had every word of my first speech typed out and I read it like this. You know, I just like word for word read my entire speech. Um, and it was to a small group of people that I'd been going to for, for weeks uh, or every single week for, for months or maybe even a couple of years. And I was still absolutely terrified. But I did it because that's I knew that there was more to my life. Um, and my journey than what I was living. So that's, you know, you have to keep getting outside your comfort zone in order to build that confidence. Um, so your success is really 80% your psychology, your mindset, your confidence versus 20% of that strategy and that hard work. We think that if we dig in and we work really, really hard that we'll get there, but really it's more about our confidence and how you're showing up and who you're showing up as <clears throat> than your competence, right? Um, people are going to respond to that confidence in you that they see. So today I want to talk about becoming unstoppable. Part of my journey in that is, um, as you were talking a minute ago about my journey, I had to take three years, just the last three years off of my coaching business because I had gotten very sick, um, autoimmune issues. And so I had to pause in order to heal my body. And part of me being unstoppable was knowing the entire time that even though I was um, taking a pause in order to heal my body, I was going to come back to that eventually. And part of my um, success story is having to um, take that pause and to <clears throat> heal my body. And part of that is that self-love and that self-worth. And if I didn't have that, if I didn't know um, that I was worthy of healing and having a healthy body and having success, then I probably wouldn't have stopped um, and taking that pause in order to take really, really good care of myself to heal. 
So becoming unstoppable, you know, all of us are going to have things get in our way throughout our lives. And it's that the unstoppable piece is knowing we are worth it. We're going to come back to this eventually when we are ready, when things um, settle down or whatever that is, we have to continue to keep moving forward, um, even if we're having to take a pause. So if you have big dreams and goals, you've got to be bold and confident in order to reach them, in order to become unstoppable. So <clears throat> I have an acronym for bold, and that stands for the B is be brave. The O is get out of your comfort zone. L is let go of limiting beliefs and fears. And D is do the unexpected. And I'm going to go through all of these as we um as, as I talk today, but, um, when you're more bold, you're going to really have less struggling and more consistency in your business. You're going to have more money coming in. You're going to be more successful. You're going to be able to create those dreams and those goals, um, reach those goals and create that vision that you're looking for. So before I dive into the bold acronym, I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that get in our way because we have so many limiting beliefs, so many fears often, um, so many, um, beliefs about ourselves, who we are, what we can create that we end up getting in our mind. We overthink, and then we keep uh, pushing ourselves to the side and pushing our goals to the side and not reaching them because we have all of these beliefs. And so part of what I do with my clients is helping them to see where they're holding themselves back. What are those beliefs that are, that are holding you back? And let's, let's work on changing those beliefs so that you can be more empowered to create, to reach those goals and that vision. So things that I've seen with my clients over the years is, um, I can't have that because I haven't worked hard enough, right? We we have this belief that we are not worthy until we have worked extremely hard, um, burnt ourselves out. Um, we, we base our worth on what we've created or what we've achieved versus we are inherently worthy always, no matter what. Um, and that's one of the things I, I, I really work on drilling into my clients is that we are, you are always inherently worthy, no matter what, it does not have to do with what you have accomplished. That's hustling for worthiness as Brené Brown calls it. Um, uh, no one has what I have to have to sell. Um, the economy's bad, so nobody's going to buy. These are different things like that. I'm an introvert, so I can't be successful. You know, I, I used to be very, very shy, and I am an introvert. Um, so I'm here to tell you it can be done. You can be successful. You can create the things that you want in your life and your business, even if you are shy, even if you're successful. You can be confident as well. If you don't feel confident now, it can. Um, you can create that confidence in yourself. Um, <clears throat> another big one is I don't know enough or I don't have enough value. There's this imposter syndrome where we feel like, oh no, it's not me. I can't do this. I can't help these people because I don't know enough. I'm, I haven't, um, gone through enough yet to help them. What will they think of me? That's a big one too. We worry about what are others going to think of me if I create this thing, if I have, um, you know, X dollars in the bank, or if I'm successful, what are they going to think? Are they going to think differently of me? Are they going to abandon me? Um, things like that. Fear of being seen also. Um, that's a big one. Procrastination. We tend to procrastinate getting to our goals. We tend to self-sabotage. Um, we aren't certain about how to do things. And so we just put it off instead of figuring it out. Um, Another like massive, massive stumbling block. One of the biggest ones is feeling unworthy or not good enough to reach your goals and um, not good enough or not worthy of having the financial freedom or that income that you really want or getting paid for your services and um, not worthy of self-care. I see this all the time with women is we put everybody else first and we put our own self-care on the back burner and then we end up burnt out sick um, and not able to take care of not only ourselves, but uh, the other people that depend on us too. Um, not worthy of a deep, fulfilling love, right? We go after those people who um, don't give that love back to us or don't that aren't good for us because we don't feel worthy of that. We don't feel worthy maybe of investing time or money in our business. So we procrastinate and put things off because of our own self-worth. Um, you might also find yourself shrinking your dreams. I see this so often with my clients is 
I really want this thing, but that's not for me. That's for other people, but it's not for me. So I'm going to shrink my dream and I'm going to make it smaller to the point where I feel like, okay, I can, I can achieve that dream, that small dream, but I can't achieve that big dream that I really want. Um, you might be stuck in perfectionism. This keeps us safe. So if every, if we're concentrated constantly on making everything perfect and everything has to be just right before we put it out there, my website's not right yet, or I don't, um, I haven't learned enough yet. It has to be, everything has to be exactly perfect. I have to, um, work on this talk that I'm giving for hours and hours and hours or weeks at a time until it's absolutely perfect. And guess what? There is no perfect. So you're, it's not, you're never going to get there because there's no such thing. So, um, done is good enough. And so get it done and put it out there so that you can, um, get moving. Okay. Um, comparison, comparing ourselves to others. It's very easy to do with social media. Um, constantly, well, they have it all together. They're, they're successful. They look like they're making, you know, good money. How come I can't do that? And then making yourself feel bad because you're comparing yourself to others, but really we never know what's going on in the background. Um, so if there's anyone resonating with any of this type in the comments, if you're resonating, um, if you have any comments about any of this, if you're hearing yourself feeling, you know, hearing yourself and what I'm talking about here, um, so what I do know that you really want, you want to make a bigger impact, just like me, where I was really shy and I was an, and I'm an introvert, you know, I, I was very, very shy and I was afraid to put myself out there, but I kept doing it anyways, because I had this big vision for my life. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to help, um, other people. You want to believe in yourself. You want to know you're worthy. You want to see that in yourself. You want to feel confident in yourself and what you offer and in your business and um, confident in yourself and worthy as a person and who you are. Um, you want to stop living in fear of fear of being seen and heard, fear of asking for what you want, fear of speaking up so that you can actually get there to reach your goals to that vision. You want to feel empowered. I'm, I'm assuming you want to feel empowered if you're here at the um, Empowerment International Women's Business Empowerment event. Um, you want to be more courageous. You want to be more brave and bold. You want more consistency in your business, in your life, in your income. Um, you want more love in your relationships internationally. Yes, <laughs> thank you. And you want to feel fulfilled. And that's huge. Um, that fulfillment piece is really, really big. Um, so type in the comments too, where, where do you want, what do you want more of in your life, in your business? So, okay. So being bold, here we are, here we are into the bold and confident piece, how to become more bold and confident and unleash your power to be, become unstoppable. When you're more bold and confident, you're going to have less struggling. You're going to be more consistent in your business. Um, you're going to be, be able to more easily attract those people to you who want what you have, who want what you have to offer um, and who need your support. Yeah. Stop waiting and think until things are perfect to release into the world. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, there is no perfect. We can work on trying to make things perfect for ever and never get there. I've had clients tell me, I've been working on my website for three years and I still haven't launched it because it's not perfect yet. And that's them putting off their business for that long, right? There's them putting off their success um, and really making a difference. So number one in the, in the bold acronym is be brave. Okay, so be brave in going after your dreams. And being brave requires that you have a clear vision. Okay, you can see behind me in this um, this poster on the wall, it says got vision. These, these three um, uh, canvases on the wall are actually printouts of a card deck that I made. I have a card deck of 48 cards on how to be more, more confident and bold to build that confidence. And the first one is got vision. You have to know where you're going in order to um, stick with it, right? If you don't have that goals and that vision, um, it's going to be very, very challenging to keep going when you have setbacks, when you have those limiting beliefs. You have to have that big vision to keep pushing you forward. Um, yes, it will absolutely share the card deck um, link with you. Um, 
I'll, I'll say it verbally now and then I'll type it in a little later. It's erinsum.com slash card deck journal. It also has a journal that comes with it. erinsum.com slash card deck journal. Um, so having a clear vision starts with knowing what you want and how you want to feel. That feeling piece is really, really important for manifesting, for creating those things that you want. So I tell my clients to ask themselves and journal out, what do I want and how do I want to feel? So it could be, I want a um, amazing relationship. Okay. What does that look like to you? How does that feel? It feels safe. It feels empowered. It feels, um, it feels, um, happy, you know, it feels that joy and you have that those joyful emotions. It feels peaceful and calm, right? Thank you, Vigil. Um, so ask yourself those questions. What do I want? Why do I want it? I want to make an impact. Okay. How does that feel? It feels, it feels empowering. It feels joyful and abundant to empower other women, to, um, help other people, to, create the lives that they want, right? How does that feel for you? It lights me up, it gives me joy and, and juice and excitement and energy. Um, some of the fears that could get in the way would, would be, like I've been mentioning, I'm not enough. Um, it's self-sabotaging. It's it's getting in your own way. It's being the, having that fear of being seen and heard. Um, so in order to get what you want, you need to be able to ask for what you want. So visualize that, ask the universe, ask, um, ask people for what you want. I'm looking for speaking gigs, right? So when I was restarting my business, which is just very, just recently, um, I, you know, got through the health stuff and got ready to restart my business. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to post on Facebook and see if anyone, um, is looking for speakers for their group. And I posted on Facebook and within, a day or so, I got like three or so speaking gigs um, right out the gate of restarting after three years. And that was because I got bold, I got brave and courageous, and I asked for what I wanted. I wanted speaking gigs, so I asked for that, and I and I received it. And you have to be willing to receive, too. You have to be open and willing to receive. Um, so you've got to be able to take those big leaps, too. Take small steps, baby steps, but also take big leaps. I've taken massive leaps in my um, business over the years and in my life in order to grow and in order to create those things that I want. So um, I know this can be very, very scary for us, especially as women, to take those leaps, to ask for what we want. Um, and so we've got to get brave, right? We have to get brave, get bold and get courageous. And, and that will build your confidence. So um so the next thing I'll go move on to and um, getting out of your comfort zone. Cause I'll have a couple stories for that too. So number two in bold is get out of your comfort zone. Okay. So again, we have to be willing to take big leaps and also many, many baby steps. I've taken thousands of baby steps over the years in order to build my confidence. Um, joining passion parties in, you know, 15 years ago was a massive leap outside my comfort zone. Um, and then let's see, and about seven years ago, I was asked by a friend who was a dating coach. She said, hey, I'm going to be doing a TV thing with Mark S. Allen. So if you're if you're in Sacramento, you know who Mark S. Allen is. He's been on TV and radio since the 90s. And um, he's he, everybody knows who he is. He's, you know, local celebrity and um, he's in Hollywood now, too, and everything. But now back in the day in the 90s, he used to have a show called or a little segment called Dateless and Desperate. And he would try to um, help people connect on dating. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember that. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, about seven years ago, my friend, she had been doing a lot of work with Mark um, on TV and things, and they he wanted to bring back for Valentine's Week, Dateless and Desperate. So she, he said, let's find like three single women who would be willing to go on TV and do this segment. And they'll, we'll do voting. And then the person who wins the voting will get to go on some dates on like live on TV. So I said, sure, absolutely. She said, you could talk about your business and you can say what you're looking for in a partner. So I did. And I won out of the three women to go on the dates. And I went on um, dates online or not online, online on TV, live on TV. Um, and it was 
totally terrifying <laughs> going on dates at 6 a.m. in the morning and, you know, with people I've never met before and having a camera in your face. Hey, how's it going? How's, <laughs> how's your date going? Um, absolutely terrifying, but also so much fun and so confidence building, right? It really built my confidence. And, um, that was a huge, huge leap outside my comfort zone. It was the most, it was such a fun week. Um, and it was, yeah, it was massive, massive leap outside my comfort zone, but I did it because I wanted to, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so fun and crazy, but I did it because I knew I wanted to build my confidence too. And it would help me, um, in other aspects of my life too. Right. Yeah. I, I wanted to just jump on and be like, oh my gosh, I, because, you know, uh, for those of you who don't know, granted Aaron is currently in my hometown, but I grew up there for the most of my life. And so I remember Marcus Allen and Dateless and Desperate and, and listening to that and, and watching that. And um, I ran into him on the Amtrak one time going to San Francisco with his family and everything. And <laughs> I have not heard that name in forever, but I just kudos to you for at that time going on that program. Cause that was way before, you know, uh, like, dating shows were social media were reality tv it was like yeah. that was yeah, a while that was back ago. in the 90s he was doing that yeah so yeah. he brought it back a few years ago <laughs> that's so awesome <laughs> thanks it was really fun <laughs> um but then so another big leap i took more recently um in October, I found out about a contest called Fab Over 40, and I decided to jump, jump in. And Vihil, you did the contest too. We were both doing it um, alongside each other, which was really, really fun. Um, and so I decided to join this contest, which was a huge leap outside my comfort zone. The, the grand prize was $40,000, and I had um, a lot of issues in my house I needed to get taken care of for my health. And so I joined the contest, really hoping to win the 40 grand. Um, and so I really put myself out there. I made this thing like a full-time job. I mean, I was going after it like crazy. Um, but one of the things that I did, which was also a big leap was I reached out, my friend connected me with Tina Makua, who is also a really big name, um, in the Sacramento area. She's been, on air also with Mark S. Allen for years um, and on TV and, and radio. And I reached out to her and asked if she would have me on, on air to <clears throat> interview me about the contest. It was a fundraiser ultimately for uh, Breast Cancer Foundation. And she said, yes, she reached out to me immediately, said, yes, let's have you on. And so, I, you know, I was also again, terrified, but I did it because um, I wanted to, um, you know, help raise money for the for breast cancer foundation. And I had a big vision of winning the contest. And of course, unfortunately I didn't win the contest, but I did um, get pretty far, but it was amazing to um, have that confidence building opportunity as well, you know, to be on air and to talk about um, myself and the contest and, and my coaching business and um, just really have that opportunity to build my confidence again. Um, live on TV. And it was really, really fun. I got really great feedback from it. Um, so we have to constantly be getting outside our comfort zone. It doesn't always have to be giant leaps. It can be small steps, baby steps, but just constantly be doing something that's outside your comfort zone. My friend once said to me, outside my comfort is my zone. So she's like constantly living outside her comfort zone, right? Um, which is so important if you're in business to be uncomfortable quite often in order to grow because that's where we're that's really, really where the magic happens is outside our comfort zone yeah you saw me on there it was really fun <laughs> it's on youtube um the segment if anybody wants to watch um aaron sum and tina mccure good day sacramento it's really fun um so get uncomfortable no matter what <clears throat> number three in bold is let go of your limiting beliefs and fears so first we have to identify what's in our way, right? So your limiting beliefs and fears are really your number one barrier to your success. These are the things that are going to, um, oh, you put the link. Thank you. You're fast. <laughs> um, your limiting beliefs and fears are the thing that are going to hold you back. And these are the things that we need to break through. We need to become um, aware of what these things are in order to, um, 
build that confidence to get the, to change those limiting beliefs into empowering beliefs to reach your goals. So where have you been holding yourself back? Your biggest obstacle inside of you. We think we often think, well, I can't do it because of the economy or um, these people aren't getting back to me. So X, Y, Z, or, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the fault of this thing, right. That is not working. But when we change our beliefs about ourselves and what we can accomplish and what we can create, our outside world changes. So it can be very tricky to identify, is it, is it my own thinking and beliefs that are creating my reality? Or is it the world that's creating my reality, right? Is it inside or outside? And most of the time, what we think about, we bring about, we create in our lives. And so we need to be able to really recognize that and say, oh, maybe it is something inside of me that's creating the outside, right? So identifying those limiting beliefs and fears is really important. And once you do that, you can start creating affirmations too. And you don't even have to recognize what that belief or fear is. Um, necessarily, you can start, you can just create affirmations about what it is that you want to create. Um, so if you want to feel more, um, more confident, you can start saying things like, I'm feeling more confident every single day. Um, so for someone who's maybe shy or really doesn't feel confident, just saying, I'm a confident woman might be too far of a stretch for you. So you might want to start small, like I'm, I'm becoming more confident every single day. I'm creating, um, I'm believing in myself a little bit more every single day. I'm creating more success for myself every single day. So you might start small and just take those little baby steps instead of taking like the big leap in your affirmations. You might just start small with changing your beliefs just a little bit every single day. And before you know it, your, your brain will actually start to change. You're going to actually rewire your brain with those affirmations. Um, and you're going to start feeling differently. So you actually want to, um, uh, why should I totally just lost my train of thought, but, um, Start with those affirmations, start small and just keep saying those things over and over to yourself over and over again. And you will, you will start to see a change eventually. Um, hiring a coach, that's been something that I've done many, many times over the years and has really helped me to see where my blind spots are, right? Because we can't really see our own blind spots. We can see it in other people, but seeing it in ourselves can be really challenging, um, because we we can't see we can't we just can't see the forest through the trees right we can't see our own blind spots and where we're holding ourselves back so have hiring someone to support you who's who's good at seeing um seeing those blind spots is really important and again getting outside your comfort zone will help you grow your confidence massively take a drink and if anybody has any questions anyone who wants to share anything Please feel free to share in the comments or ask, ask your questions. Um, is anybody seeing yourself in anything that I'm talking about? Um, and number four in the bold acronym is do the unexpected. So ask yourself, how would I act if I felt confident and bold? So if I was feeling confident right now, or if I was feeling bold right now, how would I act? What would I do? What step would I take if I was feeling bold right now? Maybe you would apply for a speaking gig, or maybe you would make a phone call for someone, to someone who has expressed interest in your business or what you do. Or maybe you would reach out to uh, someone who you haven't talked to for a while, but you've wanted to have a conversation with. How would, how would you act if you felt confident and bold? So you can ask yourself that when you're feeling a little less confident. How would I act right now? What would I do? And then do that thing. Your action is going to build that confidence and make you unstoppable. Um, and then the last thing that I'm going to share is about believing in yourself and your worth. And this is really, really huge. This is key to creating what you want in your business. Um, and, and in your life, believing in yourself, believing in your worth. I believe I am worthy of um, having international retreats, or I believe I am worthy of, of meeting that, that person and creating that life 
together that I absolutely dream of. I believe I'm worthy of that deep fulfilling love. I believe I'm worthy of X, Y, Z, whatever it is that you are dreaming of. If you believe in yourself, if you believe that you're worthy of that, you will not have a problem attracting that and creating that in your life. Okay. But until you believe you're worthy of that, it's going to be a challenge. So, um, getting support with that is really, really important. Um, boosting your worth, recognizing where you're hustling for worthiness, right? So it hustling for worthiness could look like I'm overworking. I'm working, um, tons and tons and tons and tons. I'm burning myself out and I'm trying to try, I'm overworking myself because I want to feel worthy. And I don't know how to do that other than my accomplishments, looking at where am I accomplishing? What am I accomplishing? What am I not accomplishing? And um, getting that worth, that self-worth through what you are accomplishing. And a lot of times we struggle with that. We struggle to even reach our goals. And so we're constantly feeling like we're not worthy because we're hustling for that worthiness. We're not getting there because we're overworking ourselves or burning ourselves out. And it's a vicious cycle. Um, and you're going to keep continuing to feel unworthy until you break that cycle, until you do the work to feel, to, to know deep down that you are inherently worthy, no matter what, okay, no matter what you accomplish, no matter what you have, no matter what you do, you are worthy. Um, <clears throat> So I want to for you, Erin. What? What question for you? Yeah. What are some of the um little pieces of advice that you would give out on how to do that? Um, on how to get us out. Um, because I know for <clears throat> for those of us who have gone through it several times, we we get a little bit better at, with it over time. And maybe that's one of the key things is that you know, some steps that we can take to really get out of our comfort zone. Um, how did it work for you? Like, where did you start? And, and for someone who might be watching the program and they're thinking, yeah, I would love to do that. That sounds awesome. But like, where do I even start? Like, what would yeah. you, what would you say to her? Yeah. It starts with self-love, you know, building up that self-love inside of you. Like, um, and some of us, when we start on that journey, we there's nothing, we can't find anything that we love about ourselves, right? And so the littlest, littlest things, you might just start journaling, trying to dig, you gotta dig deep sometimes to find what is it that you love about yourself and um, not looking outward for validation, but looking inward and start, maybe you, maybe you do think about some of those little accomplishments, um, but not base your worth on those, but maybe just write out, okay, here's, here's the things that I have done in my life, or here's the things here, here's the reasons why I do think that I'm worthy because I have a good heart or I'm a kind person or, um, you know, I've created, maybe you have a child and you look at that child and you say, well, I created this amazing child. There must be something in me that's doing something right to create that. Right. So like, um, journaling out, reflecting on who you are as a human versus what you've accomplished, um, is key. And again, like I said, sometimes, when we're first starting out on that journey, it's very, it can be very hard to even pull anything out, you know, but really sit with it and start to start to think about who am I and why am, why am I amazing? Right. Why, why do I have worth? Why, what is it about me that people see that, that they love? What if, and you can ask loved ones too, if there's someone that you really trust, um, and, and I have to put a, um, I'm losing my word, but you know, a, a stipulation on this is make sure that it is somebody that you really trust. Um, ask that person, what do you see in me that you think is amazing? Or what do you love about me? What are some of the things that you see in me um, that make you feel like I am worthy of what I want, you know? And so you can get feedback from some of your closest people who you really trust um, to, to give you some, some feedback to kind of get rolling on that, you know? Um, and again, make sure it's somebody you trust who's, who's going to support you and, and empower you, you know, because there are people in our lives sometimes that that maybe you don't want to ask. <laughs> um, but with your, your best intentions at heart, for sure. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, it's it, it can be very challenging, this this self-love journey, you know, this this self-worth journey, um, but it's absolutely worth it. Um, I, I like how, you know, you reiterate just taking it slow, 
Don't be, you know, in a rush. Don't think that you need to have like this gigantic list. One of the things that I have some of my clients do is I have them write a list of the 50 things that I have accomplished over my lifetime thus far. And it's surprisingly hard to think of, you know, even though we're like, um, you know, getting in, you know, in our forties ish, you know, most of my clients are either, you know, in their like late thirties, early to mid forties and, you know, phenomenal women who, when it comes down to like physically writing about all of the amazing things that they've done or the ways that they can describe themselves in a loving manner, it can be really hard. I like how you, you point out, grab someone who knows you, trusts you, has your best intentions at heart, a best friend, a family member, a ch- you know, your children, your parents, your partners or spouses are just buddies. You yeah. know, your, your fellow colleagues, people, you know, that you have around you and, and write those down, like keep, keep what they say in this fun little, you know, I put everything in a note on my phone. So like in a fun little note for yourself that, you know, when you feel like you need a little boost, like maybe you could do that. Maybe you could, you know, look at some of the responses that you're gathering from, from those that love you and ultimately want to see you happy and succeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Um, No, continue. (laughs) <laughs> oh, I was just about done. I was just going to say, um, in 2019, I mentioned earlier, I think that I did my first retreat, um, which was absolutely incredible. It was just a couple days long and the women were like different by the end. They, they literally looked different. We took pictures of everyone's faces close up at the beginning and the end, and they were different women at the end. But one of them, um, Michelle, I had met her through passion parties. She's been doing passion parties now for I think, 24 years. And at the time she was um, 20 years in and 2020 ended up being her very best year at that point um, in her business. And she had had to do, you know, she did in-home parties. How could 2020 during COVID be her best year ever when she couldn't be in homes? So she she actually had massive transformation during the retreat. She, she saw herself being more worthy. Um, she was super stagnant in her business when she came to the retreat and stagnant in her relationship. And um, because she was able to shift so many ideas and beliefs about herself and her worth, she was able to the next year have her best year ever in business through Zoom, you know, events instead of in-home parties. Um, She was able to, you know, her relationship was on the rocks at the time and they ended up being able to come back together and, um, really renew things and really heal things. And so her relationship was thriving. Her business is thriving. She just paid off. She bought, um, I think a couple years ago, she bought a big van for her business. And so she does like all her sales stuff in there. It's a traveling boutique. And so she just paid that off. She bought a house in the last couple of years, um, by herself. Her boyfriend did not help buy the house. She did that all on her own. Um, because she started seeing that she was worthy and deserving of those things um, from the work that we did together over the retreat. And then the next year she would work together too, but she made those inner changes and then her outer world shifted and changed significantly. So, um, you know, I have so many amazing stories like that with clients and it's just, it's so wonderful and amazing to me to watch these women go from not feeling like they're enough to, to shifting that and then everything in their life changes, their relationships, their business, their income, um, you know, because they feel like they're enough and they're worthy. Always. So I, th- I think personally validating, but for w- when we start really believing in ourselves yeah. and the whole, you know, accepting that I am amazing. I have amazing things to offer. I have good intentions. I'm trying to create an amazing outside world. You know, once we allow our confident self to, to seep through into our outside world, I think it's, it's a reminder of, of how great life can be with good intentions with and good intentions for yourself Mm -hmm. so much so much we put that out there for those around us but we have to always remind ourselves what are we doing for number one what are we doing for ourselves right to keep us to keep us moving forward and keep us on top yeah 
yeah, we, as women, we tend to give and give and give and give and give to other people, right? And then we don't give back to ourselves, which, you know, depletes us, it empties our cup. And then, um, you know, why is it that we can't give back to ourselves? We, we want to help everybody else. Why can't we help ourselves too? And, and helping ourselves is really the most important because that's, we are our own life force. We are, you know, <laughs> we can't help anybody else unless we help ourselves first. Yeah, yeah. And we have to, uh, one of my clients and I were having a conversation, we meet every Tuesday. And so we were talking this week and, and we were talking about how we put in our phones and a reminder, like a monthly reminder, um, a couple times during the month to stop and focus on ourselves mm. because of the, the type of women that we are we give and give and give and give, like you just said. And, um, you know, we're so focused on, especially as entrepreneurs, as business owners, we're focused on, you know, getting information out to the external and not necessarily on ourselves. And so I got us to the point where um, I'm having her and I started to do it for myself as well, calendaring in self-care time. Mm -hmm. Because if we calendar everything else from, you know, running people around to client appointments, to going and picking up our, you know, flyers, to going to the dentist. Why can't we calendar our self-care time? Whether it's like, make sure you're getting yourself a, a massage once a month, make sure you're giving yourself daily meditation time to, you know, reflect. And um, I, I love how you have the cards and your journal um, to really help guide people in that can you talk to us a little bit more about that I posted the link so that everyone can can take a look at it um tell Thank us you. a little bit more about your cards and your journal yeah, yeah I don't have the card uh, the journal in front of me at the moment but the cards um it's called the bold confident you unleashed transformation card deck oh, I and love so it. it has it has this little brochure that tells you kind of how to use it and what it's about but um basically the whole deck is different cards all about you know, how to get outside your comfort zone, how to um, build your self-worth, how to um, be more brave and bold, how to um, love yourself more, you know, how to be, um, have less fears, you know, overcome some of those fears. And so each card has either like a lesson on the back and um, with a journaling prompt, or it has a um, affirmation. So each day you can, you can pull a card and then it has a little lesson or affirmation on the back to help you to be more confident um, and things like that. This is the love yourself card. So, you know, there's, there's, so awesome. it's, it's a really lovely deck about um, just all sorts of inner, the inner work of being more bold and confident. This one is I am safe. So there's a lot of self-soothing ones in here, how to just love yourself more and, and all of that kind of stuff. And it's, it's gotten a lot of great feedback. So um absolutely I loved creating this deck and sharing it with others so yeah I um I I love that I because I love journaling I love books I love reading and writing all the time um and I actually buy a lot of card decks and what I what I end up doing is I end up every time I write somebody a letter because I love to write letters or if I send someone like a birthday package I always take some of those cards and I stick them in you mm -hmm. know correspondence that I have with yeah. people just because they're so good mm -hmm. um but I'm definitely due for a new card deck so I think I've given away most of my cards uh, <laughs> so I will definitely have to to take a look at yours I love that um thank you it's good. something that yeah it's something that I started doing when my daughter was like in preschool was, you know, daily affirmations of reminding ourselves why we are bold, beautiful, and confident beings. And it was because my daughter was nervous about going to preschool. And so every morning I would, you know, try to pump her up to get her excited to go to preschool as this little tiny four-year-old. Now she's already like, you know, two and a half inches taller than I am. I'm 11 years <laughs> old. Yeah, she's so tall. But, um, but you know, when she was this little four-year-old girl, she was like super nervous about going to preschool. And so what we would do is we would say affirmations every day and then little confidence boosters every day. And, you know, it, it led to the affirmations book that I put out a while ago. And I, I, I needed your deck of cards back then. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah I love it H how did you or, or what I know that we're getting really close to, to being about out of time but what made you go the 
route of creating your card deck. I, I love that. Tell me more about how you kind of went through that process of deciding that's what you wanted to produce. Yeah. Well, it was kind of one of my dreams for years um, to create a card deck. And I, I created it in 2020. And um, I think what happened was my mom had come across somehow this uh, class on how to create a card deck. And so, so I was like, oh, that sounds cool. 2020, I'm not, I'm just sitting around. You know? <laughs> like, and so I ended up creating the card deck in 2020. And I used a lot of photos that I had taken myself and um, just kind of went through a lot of my content and pulled out, pulled stuff out and things that women had told me that they were struggling with. And, you know, I had seen in my clients. And so I just started creating these cards um, based on what I'd seen in, mm -hmm. in my clients and things like that over time and um I absolutely loved creating it and I'm, I've got more in the works for girls and <laughs> um things like that too so uh I'm excited to create more and and get this in the hands of more women too that need it I love that you have used your own photographs on it as well I was going to ask you like where did you decide or where did you get your photos and you took them yourself some of them yeah not all of them some of them I got online is in the you know, the free image world. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but yeah, a lot of them I did take myself to. Well, definitely let me know if you end up doing like a card deck for girls. I will. Um, I, I love that. I do, we just put out our empowering journal for girls, which was the first okay. time that we had done something at the empowerment empire for young girls. And it was simply based on, yeah, my daughter was doing another program at school and the journal that they gave her was really, really text heavy. And mm -hmm for her, it was what, two years ago, I think it was just too much text for her. So I created a, uh, a, a, it was inspired, it inspired me to create another journal for her that, um, you know, it has more space for like creativity and drawing and coloring and less yeah. blocks of text and more room yeah. for, you know, writing and drawing and exploration. And then eventually that yeah. turned into the whole journal that we published. So yeah. if you do, uh, a card deck for girls and, you know, anything that goes with it, definitely keep us updated. I, I'd love to, to share it, to support you in it and um, get it out there for you. Thank you. Yeah. I, I actually have created most of it. Um, and so there's still a few things in the works on it, but yeah, it's, it's almost there, I think. <laughs> Awesome. Erin, it has yeah. been so great um, to have you on the program. I, I wish an hour was more time. We're, we're like just about out of time, but I wanted to um, ask you for your closing thoughts to the phenomenal women who have been absorbing your message for this last hour here on the International Women in Business Mastermind. You've given us some great insights and tip tidbits and laughs. I always say every time I, I watch you or I hear you, you always make me smile and laugh. I love the positivity that just naturally flows with you. Um, give you. us your your closing thoughts on um, you know on our awesome selves and, and confidence boosting and and um, you know to send us off on our way almost to our weekend. Um, to be that confident, bold, beautiful selves, as you've been describing. Yeah, I just want to remind everybody that you are worthy and you're worth it and you deserve everything that you want to create in your life, whether that's your business, your life, um, your love life, whatever that is that you're that's on your heart and in your, you know, in your in your soul, um, that you are absolutely worthy and deserving of everything that you want to create and that you can have all those things. It's not a pipe dream. You can absolutely create all of those things. So, um, keep doing the work, keep, keep working on, on that work. Um, and it really all comes down to that self-love and that self-worth that's, um, that's inside of you, you know, that's wanting to, wanting to be healed and wanting to come out and, and you can absolutely do it. I love it. Just keep doing the work. Keep putting yourself out there. If you, if you weren't meant to do these things, you wouldn't have the desire to do them, right? Like right. you wouldn't yeah. have these these great inspiring desires, you know, if, yeah. um, if you were not intended to do them. So don't give up. Um, one of my favorite sayings is, you know, never forget your dreams. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to thank you, Aaron Sam, everyone for joining us on our show today. Um, true to the mantra of the empowerment empire through collective collaboration, we all rise. And it has been a great pleasure to have Aaron on our program. If any of you, um, amidst the myriad of the links, if you have 
happen to see the program on our YouTube channel or on LinkedIn and you don't see all of our links and comments, um, please reach out to Aaron. Please reach out to myself. We will make sure that I have our content or contact information um, within the description of the program. Oh, thank you. Um, I will share again the link to her card deck because it looks so awesome before I go. There we go. Um, so everyone in the world has the link to the card deck. Get your card decks. Check out her journals. Um, like I'm saying, I every time I have come across Aaron, you just have this this great positivity that you put out there. Um, you have definitely have done the work, I think. Um, <laughs> and I think you continue to always show me that you continuously do the work and you remind me that it's okay for me to also continue to do the work. And, and I know that for some of the, the women that I've encountered, they, they feel like they should always be, you know, high flying at all times. And we need to remind ourselves that it's okay to, you know, lower your wings and sit for a while and to relax and to rest and recuperate and rebuild and to refill our cups, you know, before we go back out into the world to give and give and give. Um, I think one of the, the, the themes that many of our IWB mastermind programs um, talk about through many of our phenomenal women guests are that don't forget to take time for yourself. Remember that, you know, if you are not at your best, then how can you give your best to others? So right. don't forget yourself in that whole process um, right. of, you know, trying to do your best, but, you know, not, not only doing for others, but also for yourself. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us today on the International Women in Business Mastermind. Um, our very special guest, Erin Sum. I am your host of the Hill Vigil. If you have any questions or comments, or you would like to participate in a future program of the International Women in Business Mastermind, please reach out. Um, if you're seeing this video, then there will be a like, a share, a comment, a contact button or link that you can click on to get in touch with us um, to be able to continue to, to provide amazing insights um, to our audience through featuring you and sharing all of your great um, knowledge and your skills and your encouragement with the world. So keep moving forward. Keep loving yourself. Keep giving your greatness to the world um, because they need you and we appreciate you greatly. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you again so much, Erin, um, for joining me. And we will definitely continue to be in touch and I will continue to support you. And if you do the, the fab over 40 again, I will absolutely be, be <laughs> supporting you as well. That was so fun. Thank you. Um, that was so fun. Yeah. So thank you so much. And we will be in touch again soon. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your day and have a wonderful weekend. And remember, keep striving for the amazing things that you want in your life because everything is possible. You just have to find your way and ask for help when you need it. With that, have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you all again very soon. Bye everyone. Thank you. <laughs>